Sometimes the work of archaeologists is just hair pulling, although many historical sources tell us about the existence of unique objects, to this day there is no trace of the wondrous artifacts. You want to know what experts have to say about the whereabouts of the Holy Grail and Company, and why a church is absolutely convinced that it's in possession of the Divine Ark of the Covenant? Then be sure to watch our video to the end to find out. Aside from that, make sure to subscribe and ring the notification bell for more videos. Here are the most wanted from the Lost Artifacts category. The Ark of the Covenant It is one of the most exciting historical questions of all, one that has been causing a stir among believing Jews and Christians for some time. Where is the mystical Ark of the Covenant? And did the sacred artifact really exist? A look at the Old Testament answers this question with a definitive yes. We not only learn that the Ark of the Covenant contained, among other things, the stone tablets of the Ten Commandments and was considered a symbol of God's covenant with the people of Israel, but also what the artifact looked like. Accordingly, it was a chest made of acacia wood covered with sparkling gold. The cult object could then be transported from A to B with the help of two carry poles placed in golden rings. However, only a few high priests were allowed to touch the divine chest. Anyone else who touched the Ark of the Covenant was said to have dropped dead instantly. In the second book of Maccabees, we read that Jeremiah hid the chest in a cave on Mount Nebo, which he then locked. To those who then wanted to track down the Ark of the Covenant, the Old Testament prophet said angrily, No man shall find this place, nor know it, until the Lord gathers his people again and is merciful to them. Regarding this, however, the Ethiopian church says that the artifact was once stolen by the people of Menelik and exchanged for a fake. But that's not all. In fact, it has been claimed for some time that the real Ark of the Covenant is kept in Aksum, in a chapel near the Church of St. Mary of Zion. Constantly guarded by monks, only the guard is allowed to look at the sacred chest unveiled. As a result, no one can say for sure what the silk cloth covered box that is carried through the city during the annual procession is really all about. Since only the Keeper is permitted to enter the Ark of the Covenant's lair, its existence will remain a mystery. Jules Ramey Cup It will soon be that time again. At the time we are writing this article for you, the opening game of the 22nd World Cup has just taken place. However, we don't want to go into all the horrible and questionable incidents that have overshadowed this tournament at this point. These are well reported elsewhere. Instead, we want to focus our attention on the trophy that the new world champion will be raising on December 18th. Did you know that this isn't the original World Cup trophy at all? In fact, between the years of 1930 and 1970, the Jules Rimet Cup was presented to the winners. The 35-centimeter statue of the Greek goddess of victory, Nike, was stolen for the first time in 1966. Shortly before the World Cup in England, the trophy disappeared from Westminster Centre Hall, but luckily, it was sniffed out a week later by the dog Pickles in a London front garden. After the Jules Rimet Cup had already been replaced in 1974 by a trophy that is still used today, it was stolen from a showcase of the Brazilian Football Association on December 19, 1983. The police investigation revealed that the thieves had already melted down the trophy. But whether this is really true, or whether the trophy is possibly still hidden somewhere, only the robbers themselves know. Honjo Musamune The Japanese swordsman Okasaki Musamune was an absolute master of his craft. The weapons that Musamune made are said to be among the highest quality our world has ever seen. The katana Honjo Masamune is even said to have been the best sword of all time. 
The official name probably alludes to General Hanjo Sienaga, who is said to have captured the blade in a battle. But as you can imagine, nowadays we have no idea what happened to the legendary katana. Declared an official national treasure in 1939, it came into the possession of American troops towards the end of World War II. Whether Hanjo Masamune has already been destroyed or is still out there somewhere is entirely uncertain. Maxburg Archaeopteryx Fossil finds are of immeasurable value in understanding what animal life was like millions of years ago. Stupid only if the ancient bones simply get lost over time. This is also the case with the Maxburg Archaeopteryx, tracked down on the Langenhaltram Hart in Bulgaria in 1956. The primeval bird mysteriously disappeared when its discoverer and owner died in 1991. At first, Edward Opsich allowed the fossil found in his quarry to be exhibited in a museum. However, after repeated arguments with the museum management, Opsich took back the petrified bones and thwarted any further scientific investigation. After the elderly gentleman committed suicide at the age of 91, the fossil was not included in the estate. Since the investigations of the public prosecutor's office came to nothing, nobody knows what became of the remains of the Archaeopteryx. Together with the Maxburg fossil, only 12 skeletons of the approximately raven-sized animal have been discovered so far. Buddha's Teeth In Buddhism, those people who have gone through a process of knowledge known as Bodhi are referred to as Buddha. Siddhartha Gautama, who died in 483 BC, is considered the founder of the world religion and the first Buddha in history. According to an ancient myth, some monks are said to have stumbled upon the Buddha's teeth, which gave their owners supernatural abilities. Over the centuries, more and more Buddhist temples have laid claim to possessing the real teeth of the historical Buddha. The story of the molar that is kept in a temple in Los Angeles seems particularly unbelievable. The tooth is said to be continuously growing and lighting up brightly from time to time, though there hasn't ever been any real evidence of this. It may seem very bizarre for someone to hold on to old teeth for such a long period of time, but you have to remember, people from this time period were very superstitious. Science was not nearly as advanced as it is today. So many people turned to the realm of mystics in order to find answers for everyday occurrences, often coming up with strange claims that may explain the world around them. These days, we know that most superstitions are not real. However, back then, they were as true as the sun rising each morning. The Holy Grail Before we deal with the whereabouts of the Holy Grail, another question must first be clarified. What is the supposed artifact actually about? While the object is usually presented to us as a golden chalice decorated with diamonds, the original Arthurian legend only speaks of a vessel. Be that as it may, the Holy Grail is said to be the miraculous vessel that Jesus drank from during the Last Supper. Later, the blood of the crucified Savior is said to have been caught in the vessel. Against this divine backdrop, anyone who possesses the Holy Grail is said to be blessed with supernatural powers. Even if the search for the Holy Grail has not ended to this day, around 200 goblets worldwide claim to be the true object from the medieval legend. Caravaggio's artwork Made in 1609 by the Italian artist Michelangelo Maris, the altarpiece with the awkward name Nativity with Saints Lawrence and Francis adorned the Oratorio di San Lorenzo until 1969. The wildest rumors circulate about what happened to the stolen work of art theories. One assumption is that it was cut up. Others believe that the historic painting was eaten by pigs or misused as a bedside rug. In this regard, there were also talks of mafia boss and an ominous Swiss art dealer who would have sold the picture piecemeal. At the time, the priest Monsignor Rocco Benedetto is said to have received a ransom demand from the perpetrators, but the responsible office in Palermo decided not to pursue the request any further. Irish Crown Jewels 
What actually began so promisingly ended in a bizarre catastrophe. In 1903, the crown jewels of Ireland were to be moved to safe premises. Arriving at Dublin Castle's Bedford Tower, however, those responsible found that the safe provided was too large to fit through the front door. So it was that the outrageously expensive pieces of jewelry ended up in the safe of Sir Arthur Vickers' office instead. The problem? The officer at arms was known for drinking too much from thirst. After a night of drinking, he even woke up once with the jewels around his neck. As if this incident wasn't strange enough, the sparkling objects disappeared a few days before King Edward VII's state visit. Vickers afterwards accused Francis Shackleton of having stolen the treasures, but he denied all allegations. The crime was never solved. The Divine Foreskin We've all heard the countless stories about relics and artifacts that were supposedly left behind by Jesus of Nazareth. However, this one is certainly one of the most unbelievable. No, we are not talking about the Holy Grail or the spikes that would have been used to drive Jesus' feet and wrists to the cross. Rather, we're talking about a supposed fragment of Jesus' foreskin that may have been left behind after he ascended into heaven. In the past, many Christians were convinced that Jesus left behind a very special relic in the human kingdom during his ascension, his foreskin. When the supposed foreskin of the Messiah was discovered in 1557, strange events are said to have started immediately. In the village where it was discovered, mysterious clouds of fog and violent storms suddenly formed. However, healing powers were also attributed to the supposedly holy foreskin. Blind people who had rubbed the piece of skin over their eyes are said to have suddenly seen again. As far as we know, these stories are entirely false. After all, you have to keep in mind that this supposed relic was found more than 1500 years after the Messiah had ascended to heaven. Also, there are no known writings in which Jesus spoke about leaving such a relic behind. Even if he did, there is nothing that separates this small piece of skin from any other piece of skin that could have been found in the region. So it seems likely that this was a hoax that merely got out of hand. In reality, it's entirely likely that these poor people were rubbing dead skin on their eyes for no reason at all. Though we must also entertain the idea that this strange relic could, in fact, have belonged to Jesus Christ. However, if this were true and the artifact did have magical healing properties, don't you think news of it would have spread much further by now? After all, I'm certain most of us have likely never heard of this weird artifact until just now. So why has it remained hidden for so many years if it can supposedly heal the blind and make illnesses vanish? The Amber Room the Amber Room, or the space that has become Flex of the Prussian nobility, originally installed in the Berlin Palace in 1712 at the behest of King Friedrich I. His successor, Friedrich Wilhelm I, decided as early as 1716 to exchange the stateroom, which was clad in amber, gold, and mirrors, with the Russian Tsar Peter I. In return, the King of Prussia received some tall soldiers and a yacht. About four decades later, the room was to be expanded and incorporated into the Catherine Palace. The Amber Room remained in the summer residence of the Russian Tsars before Wehrmacht invaded the Soviet Union in 1941 and brought it to the Konigsberg Palace. However, when it became apparent that the advance of the Red Army could no longer be stopped, the Amber Room was moved again in 1944 and has never been seen since. Over the years, individual parts of the room have turned up on the black market, and a new hot lead may have opened up a few months ago. Accordingly, the wreck of a cargo ship, Karlsruhe, which sank in 1945, could be tracked down. The Polish dive team suggested that the crated amber room might be slumbering in the ship's belly. However, since it would cost half a million euros to salvage the boxes, and nobody knows whether they will end up containing only odd tools, it is unclear whether and when the search will be continued. What do you think about the lost artifacts and the conjectures being made as to their whereabouts? Do you know of other historical objects that simply cannot be tracked down? As always, let us know your thoughts, suggestions, and feedbacks on today's video in the comments below. Also, don't forget to leave us a like and subscribe to stay up to date from now on. 
Finally, please take a look at the other posts on our channel, which we have linked for you here in the credits. And with that, thanks for watching, take care, and see you next time.